right now at 5. I'm quite confident that in this particular instance, uh, the FBI followed the established protocols. New questions about who knew what and when. We do the very best job we can every single day. And the handling of the ouster of an aide to the president who faces allegations of abuse. And the White House's handling of the Rob Porter situation has been under a microscope since allegations of abuse first broke publicly last week. And now testimony from the head of the FBI is only adding to the controversy. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez in the control room now with Christopher Ray's testimony and the White House's reaction. Elliot. Well, Rick and Ruta Bay, FBI Director Christopher Wray addressed the timeline of the Rob Porter background check during his testimony on Capitol Hill today. He says the Bureau submitted reports to the White House on two occasions and closed its investigation last month, but the White House requested even more information. All this was happening while Porter was being considered for a promotion. I'm quite confident that in this particular instance, uh, the FBI followed the established protocols. FBI Director Christopher Wray wouldn't go into details about what agents found during former White House aide Rob Porter's background check, but he did talk to the Senate Intelligence Committee about the process. FBI submitted uh, a partial report on the investigation in question uh, in March, uh, and then a completed background investigation in late July. Ray said the FBI got a request for a follow-up and submitted the information last November. The case was closed again in January. We administratively closed the file in January. And then earlier this month, we received some additional information, and we passed that on as well. The administration insists information on Porter was still coming in when photos of his allegedly battered wife appeared in the media. Uh, the FBI portion was closed. The White House Personnel Security Office, uh, who is the one that makes a recommendation for adjudication, had not finished their process and therefore not made a recommendation to the White House. White House Chief of Staff John Kelly stood by Porter until the photos of his bruised ex-wife appeared. Kelly reversed himself 12 hours later. Members of Congress are calling for a tougher stand on domestic abuse. Spousal abuse is not going to be tolerated. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how smart you are. Although he was working with an interim security clearance, Porter was reportedly in talks for a promotion. More than a year into the Trump administration, dozens of top officials still don't have their full clearance. And to have someone with an interim security clearance for over a year seems very excessive. It, it sort of defeats the purpose of, of having a security clearance process in the first place. Well, ask who is telling the truth here, the White House or the FBI, in the timeline of the Rob Porter case. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said, we both are.